guys welcome back to my channel this video is going to be about how to save money for your trust and the NHS the NHS is still in crisis even with the extra funding given for the 70th anniversary these tips are mainly aimed at healthcare professionals especially for the new junior doctors starting in August so my first tip is to avoid unnecessary blood test there was a quality improvement project done by a group of junior doctors recently at another trust and it found that we can save more than £40,000 a year by avoiding unnecessary blood tests. As junior doctors, it is so easy to tick the boxes and request a complete set of bloods but most of the time there is little to be gained by checking the patient's LFTs or coagulation screen every day, especially if they are clinically stable. There was a trust I worked for once um, where everyone in AMU and MSSU had a full set of bloods done at 5 o'clock in the morning, even if they had bloods done literally the night before. The logic to that is that the results will be back in time for the 9 o'clock ward round. I still feel that practice is totally unnecessary, but I know some trust that still do it. The next tip, prescribing paracetamol as a TTO. Most people already know this, but prescribing paracetamol as a TTO will cost your trust or your hospital twice as much as getting it from the supermarkets. Unless your patient is generally using regular paracetamol, then and only then it will be cost effective to prescribe it on the TTO. The NHS spends something like £8 million on paracetamol a year. So always ask your patients, even if they are getting free prescriptions, if they really want paracetamol prescribed. Most of the time they will decline and say that they have loads at home anyway. Keeping on the prescribing theme, most trusts have a trust formulary where certain drugs are purchased by the trust at a discounted rate. Most of the time, these are the generic versions of the drug, for example, Movicol instead of Lexido. Whenever you can, always check with your trust formulary and prescribe the generic version or the trust equivalent version of the drug. This is definitely one of the easiest ways you can save money for your trust. The next tip, unnecessary scans. Imaging is a great diagnostic tool, especially for clinicians on the front line, but we should only be doing scans if they are clinically justified and will contribute to the management of the patient. Certain scans like abdominal x-rays are requested way too often, but it has a very low yield in terms of diagnosis and there is definitely better modes of investigations like CT, which will give you a better picture of what's going on. I hope you found these tips useful and good luck to all the junior doctors starting in August. If you have any other tips on how to save money for your trust, please leave it in the comments down below. I would love to read them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!